Hey guys, Professor Phil Comic Book University, and I'm reading Justice League versus Power Rangers, issue number three of six. Now, are they really versus anymore? Not really. It's just Justice League hyphen Power Rangers. Anyway, the comic, I think, has hit its stride. Okay, we're now at the, the midpoint. When I used to do track and field, I uh, especially with discus, I would throw the discus, I'd get it to a certain degree, a certain distance, and then it would just keep on getting closer. No matter how much that coaching I was getting, that was when it was time for practice to end because you kind of hit your peak at that point. Now, I'm not suggesting this comic end, but something new has to happen, something incredible, because it's kind of, you know, like the jokes are still just as funny as they were, but... They're the same jokes. So I'll read, 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 ha, 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 read, read, read. What was I just laughing at? It was, they were almost forgettable jokes. I really don't remember any of the jokes, and I just read the comic. So it was funny, but I think that this is going to be one of those books where it's just much better when all six issues are in trade, and you just read it straight. Because reading the other comics in between this, it's good. For the most part, though, again, this is a very fun comic. I enjoyed it immensely. I enjoy the story however, more than I loved this particular issue. I think I'm just kind of there with the issue now. Lord Zed and Brainiac have decided to steal the Power Rangers, their keys and their coins and the Zords themselves, and they've transferred themselves over to the Power Rangers universe, and they're going to start taking over there. Meanwhile, the, it was just annoying that, you know, they, they knew that this was a trap and it was meant to try and split them up and they decided to split up anyway. So, yeah, nice try. But when you know something is a trap, you have to kind of avoid the trap. So, and they, they're like, OK, there's obviously a trap. Let's walk right into it. So, yeah, anyway, a lot of fun reading the comic, a little annoying part there. The, the thing that really tricked me out about this was the science that they decided to use so they could try and get back to the Power Rangers Earth version of the universe. And that is they went to the Large Hadron Collider. And by doing that, they're hoping to create a black hole. I'm going to tell you straight out, as a former electrical engineer, no. No, I'm afraid that simply can't happen. And if they did, it would have been a quantum black hole. And there could be a quantum black hole right next to your ear, and you would have no idea it was there, and it wouldn't hurt you. So, yeah. And, and, and realistically, we don't even know if we can prove that quantum black holes exist. So, yeah, sorry guys. This is I maybe it doesn't bother you, but this is my review. And my review involves the science actually being sound, and the science wasn't sound in this. So I'm gonna give this a B minus. A lot of fun, but they use basically not quite pseudoscience, but a pseudo pseudoscience. And just again, they walked right into a trap, and you never do that, ever. So anyway, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, class dismissed.